for in terms of the other comics that were around, was Doug up here at that time? Stanhope? No, he he never he never lived up here. He didn't live up no, here. No, no. Because I remember we I was in a meeting with you with Pat, and you had told a story about him with uh, like a, doing a clean show and having a jacket. No, okay. Or a, a dirty show. Yeah, it was yeah. a dirty yeah, show. Yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, and um, because I I saw him a few weeks later in Alaska of all places. Yeah, and um. And, and so I said, what is this? I heard you, I heard you, you know, and, and he goes, no, oh, see, that's not what happened. And so basically this club would do this walk the room show and they would do it after the Friday late show. Yeah. Depending on who the headliner is. And so Doug, um, they told him like, Hey, Friday, we have this great, it's walk the room, man. So you can say whatever you want. And, you know, we try and get people to leave and everything. And it's, it's the late show. And they, we, we tell them they can stay for the walk the room show and everything. And Doug goes, but yeah, I, I, I will have already said what I wanted. I don't hold anything back. Like they will have seen my show already. Yeah. So just let the local guys do it. And he goes, no, we only do it because the headliner does it. You can go up and you can go and say whatever. And Doug goes, yeah, I say whatever. I'm fine. He goes, no, no, be great. And like, he just wouldn't hear what Doug was trying to say. Yeah. And Doug makes a good point. They already watched him for an hour. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like why would they want to, you know. That and it's like, he's not being dirty to be dirty. He's being dirty because that's him. That's absolutely right. And that was the next point I was going to make is that he's not trying to walk a room. Because he walks people, that doesn't mean that's his goal, right? He, he knows it happens. But ultimately, this is the way he finds things funny. This is the way he speaks. This is the way he looks at the world. He's not trying to be anything, yeah. right? And so all these comics are really excited for Doug to see their really filthy set. Like, they, Doug, I, I remember a little sidebar story, and I know it's going to sound really, really arrogant, but I was doing this club, and Doug was there the week before. And after the Wednesday night show, a bunch of comics, uh, young comics from that town came up to me, and they said, hi, you know, they all introduced themselves, which is really weird, because young comics don't come watch me. I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not a comics comic. Yeah. And, uh, I was like, oh, hey, you guys, nice to meet you, whatever. And, and I'm shaking everybody's hand. And they said, yeah, um, we all came to watch Doug last week, and he made us promise that we'd come to see you. And I said, well, he just played a horrible prank on you people. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he got you guys bad. And one of them said, no, we actually, because we were talking to him about, about you know, blah, 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 and comedy and all this stuff. And he was, he said, well, here's another thing, that, you know, another way you can look at it. And, well, come see Kermit Appeal. If you can watch him, here's how he, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, Doug said that to you? Like, it, it baffled me. Because I know we're friends, but I didn't I didn't know he... I, first of all, I didn't know he even watches me. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> we rarely work together. You know? yeah. and, uh, but he um, respected what but you do. Man, I was I couldn't believe it. And But that's when I sort of realized that, oh, you don't have to be dirty to impress Doug. He likes comedy. He likes people. He likes... Yeah. He likes interacting he 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 likes the form of comedy he likes the work put into comedy right he likes all those things he doesn't need you to say horrifically gross things yeah and anyway back to the story no no so, i think that's <laughs> important for i i do have some comics that are newer that listen to this and i think that distinction it took me a while yeah honestly i met him and i hung out with him when i opened for him like at uh neptune and i <laughs> I don't know if I've told this story on here, but we're, you know, it's, it's a theater and he's got like, he's got no one around him, right? Like it's, he books everything bare bones yeah. and stuff. So it's Greg Chaley and whoever's like running sound at yeah. the theater. And then it's just me and him yeah. in the green room. There's nothing in the yeah. green room. Uh, Dave Dennison was there. He, he set up the, the deal and, and like, we are out smoking cigarettes after the show and like we're just talking and i i didn't know what to talk to him about right like it's like you meet this guy it's like this I, so right uh, i had grown up on the east coast and i started talking to him about massachusetts and stuff and then people that were at the show saw him in the alley and they like ran up and they wanted to take pictures and stuff and he's like hold on and he just pulls out his dick and starts pissing in the alley <laughs> and it's like <laughs> like, like all of his fans are cheering him on and so, like he's like just hold on a second or whatever but it's just it's just that is just who he is like he's not gonna like hold back at all ever and i'm like oh i went God. from like being like 
I mean, I kind of idolize this person, like right. I, to then right. just like standing next to him while he's peeing in the alley, and I'm like, this is exactly what Doug Stanhope would do in this moment, you right. know. But it's just so crazy. So when he was at that show okay. in Alaska, like what was what happened? Okay, so no, no, the show was a few weeks before in Texas. It was in Austin. Oh, okay. And um, so so everybody's going up and they're doing this horrific material and and. And Doug has said he doesn't want to do it, but the manager will not be like, no, this would be great. This would be great. He keeps saying that. So Doug goes up in a, a, a trench coat, essentially, and it's buttoned up. And he starts doing the cleanest, hackiest, like, you know, man, airline food sucks, right? It's just so bad. And he takes a button off. <laughs> and then, and then he, does, he does another premise, like totally like clean, you know, men, men and women are so different, right? I mean, because like guys are like dogs and women are more like cats takes a button off and he just keeps doing this kind of stuff yeah. right and it's he's wearing nothing underneath right <laughs> so he just does this stuff and then he drops the trench and he's fully naked doing the cleanest material possible That's so right funny. so the manager in the back doing his end of the night work and this server runs in and he goes hey uh doug's naked on stage and he jumps he starts running out he runs he goes hey doug 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 Get up, come on, get off the stage. And Doug goes, no, no, I'm, I'm doing the show that you wanted me to do. And he's, and he, and he just keeps going. Right. And, um, and, uh, and the manager literally has to grab the trench coat, put it on him and drag him up. Cause he's not, he's not coming. So the manager has to go up and literally put the clothing around him and drag him off. And the whole time Doug is screaming, Star Trek would be weird if other <laughs> actors did the characters, right. It'd be totally different. And, and I mean, it was just brilliant. Yeah. It was brilliant because like you're telling Doug, okay, you can be filthier in this show. And he went, okay, yeah, I'll be filthier in this show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I will break the law to be <laughs> filthy in this show. And um, yeah, it was a major thing. But then, but then the word that got out was Doug Stanhope got naked on stage. That's what everybody was saying. Like, Doug. yeah. So that's why I asked him, I go, you can, you can naked on stage. <laughs> so he, and there was more to the story. Oh, right? for sure. Yeah. 